Can your DJI drone really find its way home when you lose control? Today, we're testing the DJI Flip's return to home accuracy in three completely different environments to see just how reliable it truly is. Our first test takes place at Christiansten Festning, a wide open area with minimal interference. Home point updated. Perfect for seeing how the DJI Flip behaves in ideal conditions. I'm flying the drone 50 Take meters off. high and roughly 500 home meters away updated. from the home point, right towards NTNU's main building. Once I reach the mark, I'll trigger return to home. The main building of NTNU, often called Hovedbugningen, is one of Trondheim's most recognizable landmarks. Perched on Glosshaugen Hill, it overlooks the city with a commanding view, symbolizing more than a century of Norway's engineering and scientific heritage. <laughs> okay, got a little distracted there. Those NTNU shots were too good to skip. But now, let's see how precisely it comes back. Return to home. Landing. It's descending. Considering this mat is only 65 centimeters across and surrounded by bolts, even a few centimeters off could have gone badly. Landing right on the mat, just touching the edge, but still perfectly within the circle. That's a perfect landing. RTH accuracy in open space, 10 out of 10. Next, we move to the coast of Trondheim, right next to Pirbadet, to see how the DJI Flip handles return to home over water. Take off. Home point updated. I'm flying 50 meters high, again heading around 500 meters out. Though this time, I might have gone a bit too far, toward Munkholmen. Munkholmen, a small island just off the coast of Trondheim, carries centuries of layered history within its stone walls. Long before it became a peaceful landmark, it served vastly different purposes. Today, Munkholmen stands as a serene reminder of Trondheim's past. All right, time to trigger return to home. Let's see how confident DJI's positioning return is when there's nothing but water beneath. Over water, GPS reflections and lack of ground reference can throw off precision. It's coming back. Landing. Wait, it's off by about a meter. And it's about to land on the rocks. Huh. <sighs> I had to intervene before it touched down. Without manual correction, that would have been a crash. Result, failed RTH. Accuracy deviation around one meter, which is enough to risk a drone. For the final test, I took the DJI Flip to Burmaklippen, a small cliff surrounded by trees.
Here, GPS signal interference and magnetic variations make this the toughest Take environment off. yet. Bormaclippan is a updated. hidden gem tucked away in the forests near Trondheim, offering one of the most striking cliffside views of the city and the Trondheim's fjord. Though not widely known outside local hiking circles, it has become a favorite spot for those seeking both adventure and tranquility. The trail leading to Bormaclippan winds through dense woodland before suddenly opening up to a dramatic cliff edge where the view stretches endlessly over valleys and water. Just like before, I'm 50 meters up, 500 meters away. Let's trigger Return to Home and see how Return it behaves. Its name and origins remain somewhat mysterious, adding to its quiet allure. Standing on the edge, with the wind rushing past and the city far below, you get a rare sense of connection between nature and the rugged landscape that defines this part of Norway. Landing. And it's trying to land off the cliff. That's not good. If I didn't cancel RTH now, it would have gone straight down the valley. In areas with uneven terrain and dense surroundings, the downward sensors can misjudge altitude and GPS precision drops significantly. Result? Failed RTH. Manual intervention required. So, what did we learn? In open spaces, the DJI Flip's return to home is impressively accurate, landing within centimeters. But over water and in complex terrains, things can get unpredictable. Always make sure you've got enough battery, a clear home point, and keep your eyes on the drone because automation isn't foolproof. If you enjoyed this test, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my journey as I keep pushing drones to their limits, one test at a time.